Hi all and welcome back to your channel. So I'm back at Anfield. This is the day after the lift for my daily Anfield Road expansion update. So um, I'm absolutely blown away by the, um, the reception I received yesterday uh, to my video. It was unbelievable. So I just want to thank everyone for the kind comments. I mean, you know, it's everyone that took the time out to comment, everyone that took the time out to watch it, it's, it's, it's only 43,000 views now. Um, I haven't had a video that go like that ever. So thank you everyone for helping me out. The comments, the views, the likes, everything, it's just un unreal. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to Mr. Drone and Paul Frost as well. Um, it was a long day yesterday, I was, I was here for about 10, 10, 11 hours. I did nip home a couple of times, but um, I was here for most of it. And uh, if it went for Paul Frost fan, I'd have been burnt to a crisp. And Mr. Drone with his contact inside the grounds, he was letting us know what was going on. Even though we could see what was happening, we, we weren't too sure what was going on. And he, he was just reassuring us of, you know, once we've done this bit, then the lift will happen. But they had the complications as you can see in the videos that we've put out. So I'm gonna get over and have a, a look. I was looking this morning. Just gonna be high there. So I'll have a spin around and have a look. So there's the roof and you know what? Quite a lot of it's been dismantled now. Let's have a zoom in on it. There we go, a bit, a bit too, but you can see how big it is, can't you? Look at the people next to it. Yeah, so they... Yeah, look. Big skip there. Full of debris. You know what? I'd love to get a piece, you know. I wonder if they'll let me have a piece of that roof. Just a little bit of scrap. I might ask. So people were asking about the crest as well, so the crest was... Let's move across here a touch. Roughly down here, wasn't it? And then again... Uh, yeah, I think the part with the crest on has been dismantled. Um, but I think they've taken the crest off and kept it. Because the way they lowered it, I just thought, as I don't know what they were going to do, I thought it was going to be a bit rougher than it was. But they were, it was like, it was intricate. It was a gentle piece of um, lifting. So, I reckon they've taken that crest off. They can't just bin it. So I want to come back and have a zoom in on the back of the stands. Now that it's all open. I can see up there as well now, people working, which is, which is good to see. Um, so my seat was in 224. Let me zoom in, I'll touch on that's 224 in it. Yeah. So my seat was the fourth row, so it was around here somewhere. I think it was around there somewhere. Let's go for the back. See where they cut the roof off. That's actually been marked out for cutting off. Because that roof, roof is quite low, because people on the back row used to bang on the roof to make a noise. So that's the parts we didn't see getting cut. Yeah, they've done a brilliant job on that. And there's only 13 rows in that stand, you know. No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, there's only 13 rows in that stand. So the upper tier was quite was quite small. It was it was nice, you know, sitting there with the kids. It's you know it's just it was comfortable with the kids. But it was obviously too small. There's not a lot of fans up in that upper tier, and the lower tier at the back was quite restricted because the roof come down quite low. 
and it all had to, it was all because um, when he got the original plans to build that, that stand the houses behind complained about not getting enough sunlight so they had to design that stand in a way that wouldn't restrict sunlight to the houses behind but obviously all them houses are gone now so that's why we got this big monster It does look good down there so anyway the next part of the lift so this crane down here is going to be a major part of the next part of the lift by, by all accounts so it's going to get lifted out by these two so that that yellow one's going to move over to the right hand side down here that's going to get dismantled by a ticket well it's going to get dismantled and moved across by this crane here I think and reassembles um, this side um, then they're going to take the stand down apparently it's going to go on the ground or well, they're going to it's hard to so let me just look at this corner here I imagine they're going to it's going to get cut So where it ends there, I think it's going to get cut all up there. Then that section will get lifted out onto the ground. And this big yellow crane outside is going to lift it out and into the car park where it'll get dismantled. Okay, so that's the next stage. And then this part here is going to get lifted out separately so that's going to get lifted from the outside anyway by maybe the same crane again but yeah this part that stands here is going to get lifted out from the outside so when that's ready to go that'll yeah everyone will be able to see that so get yourselves up here when it's getting done Wind's just, the wind's just really picked up. Don't know where that's come from. Um, right, another thing as well. You know what? Sorry, let me get back over to the main stands. People keep going on about the main stand and the um, the seats how faded they are. Now I've, I've seen this online. But they, they get blowtorched and it brings them back to red again. Um, I'll try and put a clip on now if we can find one if it's not there then I've lied to you but yeah hopefully there's a clip on there of how they do it you know just a little five second clip and if you look at the pitch this may have to get relayed <laughs> I, I, I think that's the plan anyway look at the colour of it it's dead bear in mind the artificial surface at the side there the grass is the same colour as that one point yeah, so yeah, so yesterday was a lot of fun. Uh, there was me, Mr. Drone, Paul Frost. I moved there for a while, and then we saw another drone in. Yeah, so I, I, I investigated to see who it was, uh, just to just to see what what height they were flying at, so we could um, avoid each other. It turned out it was Craig's Adventures. So yeah, he joined us later on in the day. You ever seen Craig's Adventures? Um, subscribe to him he's on about 750 subscribers now so he's 250 away from his um a thousand where he can start where, where he can become a youtube partner so if anyone wants to help him out i'll put a link to his channel in my description okay he's a nice lad uh genuine and honest yeah so give him give him a uh, subscribe guys um help him out help him get to his thousand subscribers so we can uh, join a youtube partnership um, and I, I'll put a photo on now of me, Mr. Joe and Paul Frost that we took earlier in the day. Don't know the three amigos, or more like the three stooges, what do you think? <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was, we had a good time. Um, it was just getting tiring, for me especially, it was getting tiring later in the day. I was almost ready to give up. Um, I'd nipped home because I needed to charge some batteries, then Paul Frost messaged me saying, it's getting lifted out now. So, Paul Frost as well. Thank you, that means you could have just easily kept that footage to yourself, but you didn't. Um, 
So there's me flying up with one battery. I left the other two in the house, then I had to ring my son and say, can you come up on your bike and bring me two more batteries? And then my other son, he joined me for the last couple of hours. So yeah, Harry, thank you mate and Ellis, thank you for bringing the batteries up. And I best mention your lad Thomas as well, <laughs> who didn't want to come, but yeah. Ah, uh, right. Um, yeah. I'm going to come back tomorrow and concentrate on the outside tomorrow. We'll have a little look inside, but I just want to thank everyone for uh, in this video for all the support for the CJ. You know, it's quite emotional, if I'm being honest. Uh, I had a little tear in my eye, if you like. Reading all the comments, they, they, they were just so nice. Um, yeah, that was the car, thank you enough. I was really, really was humbled by them. Um, yeah, I'll put us put my stat on the screen now as well. Um, you know, let's have a little zoom in while I'm talking. Little stat on the screen there of people who are subscribed. It's 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 coming down the the ones who watch but are subscribed. So it's around eighty seven percent now, I think. So I was wanting to try and get that down a bit more. But thank you everyone for subscribing because loads last say that they thought you had to pay to subscribe. Uh, people thought they had subscribed but hadn't, they just watched the videos, they just keep popping up on the recommended. Um, but people saying that they search me for, for my channel to look at my videos. If, if you subscribe, they'll pop up in your recommended. So yeah, it's just an idea to subscribe if you like watching them. If you don't and you don't like my channel, it's fine. <laughs> you just want to watch the odd video but don't want to subscribe that's 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 more than fine to me um so i'm gonna leave it there guys um thank you for watching thank you for everything yesterday it was a uh, really appreciated it was it was hard it was it was rough it was hard work but we got there in the end and we got the lift so hopefully at the end of this week we'll catch another lift and then we'll take it from there but Truly, I'm humbled. I thank everyone for everything you do for me. And as always, look after yourselves and take care. Bye now.